and welcome back to another random Timu haul um, and I've got some uh, gorgeous little bits to show you today. Um, if you've seen my previous Timu hauls you know that I like to pick up random but very useful items that I think that will be handy for around the home, travel, anything for beauty, anything really. So you know me, I'm going to go straight into the video. So this time around I'm going to do my best to um, show you how I'm going to use each of the products so I, either I will show you now with the bits that I've got here um, or I will put in a video to show you um, how I've used it so let's get cracking with the first item so I'm not putting them into categories so I'm just going to randomly pick them out um, I haven't undone them there's only one that I've undone so it was easier for me to show you what I've got um, but the other bits I'm just going to pull out and uh, show you how we get on so the first item is in here. This is the one that I've opened so I can show you what it is. So this little case here, it is a, <laughs> it holds memory cards. I've had these for many, many years, well over 15, 14, 15 years. And they've got thousands and thousands of photos on from when I used to have my camera. So I wanted to keep them safe because if these get damaged, then they get corrupted. And I do not want to lose all my photos that I've had for all those years. So in a handy little case, so they keep them protected. So I absolutely love this one. I will do my best this time. I know I said it before, <laughs> but I will put the prices up on the screen when I'm doing my editing. So I'm learning. Stay with me. I'm still learning. But I put on how much that I paid for this and it was around one pound. 60 something but again i will put the put it on the screen somewhere here i promise right next item let me see if i'll make sure i put this down i have one of these brushes let me get it out <laughs> it's one of these really cool cleaning brushes now you know i like to do my cleaning now this bit in here if i can remember how to do it you take it out and it is a little dustpan so when you sweep it up you sweep it up and put it in there. Um, I do like to use this to clean around the windows. You get inside the window frames because obviously they're very, very small. Can't get them out. I use this to dust off my Hoover filters because obviously, again, they're fiddly and you need to get into their nooks and the crannies. Um, it literally can be used for, for anything, really. It's such a cool little brush. Um, I have seen it on Timu never get this back in the hole um for 10p on one of them so i will put up how much i pay for this one because i did put two in my basket and i know i wanted to see which one was going to be the cheapest and then this was the cheapest so yeah so i've got a couple of those now and they last ages but i really wanted another one because i do a lot of cleaning so that's that one this one in here you probably can see what it is from the thing Let's take it out. This is going with my travel stuff. It is the um, floss things. Floss sticks. I don't know what they're actually called. But this, I use these all the time. Little floss brushes. Brushes, we know what they're called. A little bit, a little bit of floss on a stick. And then obviously to get in between your teeth in there. And I thought this was such a cool little gadget so you're going on holiday you're going away you need these for the weekend just pop them in there you can actually get quite a few in there how many's in there i think there's about 10 in there in total so yeah a little case perfect for travel absolutely perfect for travel i'm, I'm going to put that with my other travel bits that i showed you in my last video so handy next item you're going to wonder what this is. Let me open it. Didn't know, really know what colour it was. Well, this, this is meant to be, well, I say it's meant to be, it's what it's advertised as, is what you would put your hair bands on. So you'd, it's not come with any adhesive or anything. So you can put some double-sided tape on there, whatever. 
stick it down and then put the thing so again as i said i will show you how i'm going to use it but again you can use this for anything really i mean you could put, put your little flannel on it towel um anything with a hook really it would be i think would be quite sturdy it's hard plastic it's got the diamond design on the top so it's quite pretty i don't know i just wanted one i just thought let me see what i can actually use it for storage put your hat on it necklaces jewelry oh, leave it with me i'll show you what i use it for in my video so next one let's put the rubbish on the floor there's gizmo in here a little gadget if i remember correctly what it is Uh, yeah, I think if my brain serves me correctly, this is magnet. It's got a sticker on the back. I think I might <laughs> might have to go back and look at the um the thing on the teamy thing, what it was. But I think it I bought it to put in my car. So because it's got this the the sticker on the back, because I haven't got any of the grooves um i've got a little round air vent thing but i can't really put anything on it so it's like to hold your phone so the magnet on there and the sticker on the back so i'm going to try that out and hopefully it will hold my phone even though i have it in one of these um old-fashioned cases can i find it for you yes i have it in one of these cases because i'm old um and i don't think the magnet thing's going to go through there on my iphone but I've got other, oh, <laughs> there you go, look at that, oh, it's because it's got a magnet on there, but we'll give it a try, and if not, I'll just use one of the regular um, iPhone cases, that you, the plastic one, like I've got it sitting in there, okay, I'll stop talking now, but yes, I, um, yes, I'm going to use that, again, I'll put a video in, this little gadget, you're going to think, well, what on earth is that, I wondered that when it came in the post, <laughs> I was like, What's that? I like to relook. Let me open it. This is a tape measure, and it's actually for measuring yourself. Let's see if I can do it. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to pretend to measure my my waist with my jumper on. So we've got your centimeters on one side, and then you've got your inches like a regular tape on the other side and then you put it round yourself and then you hook it oh hang on i can't see what i'm doing put it in there and you click it in and it falls off <laughs> hang on wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i probably got knowing me i probably got it upside down you know what but uh, there, press the button. Oh, I snap it. Next item. Now, this item was influenced. I was influenced to buy this by the lovely Mrs. K, Gemma. This was this was all from you. So I picked these up. These are two little key, two little gadgets. They are <clears throat> little screwdrivers. So there's a flat head and then you've got your cross head or your Phillips, depends on where you live. And you can put them on a little key ring if you want to. And you can put them on your keys, put them on your belt, anywhere really. And I thought this was a fantastic idea because if I can't be bothered to go and get my, my toolbox out, sorry, back in the table, I can actually have these and put them on the uh, the key hook and I'll just quickly grab one and off I go. Or, oh, oh, hang on, in the packet. So yeah, put it on there. Let's put the keys. What am I calling them keys? They're not, are they? They are things. I was thinking, I think Gemma might have come up with this. So it's not my idea. I think it was Gemma, Mrs. K. She said for like Father's Day, and I thought, well, what a cracking idea, especially if you've got a father-in-law like mine who is he's a he's a bit of a carpenter and he loves all of his tools and his gadgets and his gizmos, stuff like that. Again, these were so cheap, so so cheap. So on that note, what else I picked him up for Father's Day 
it's not just his own present, so don't worry. Only I've got this little key ring, and I'll just take it out for you. Oh. It's a bag in a bag. It's a bag within a bag. All right, hang on. It is a little key ring. What's it say on it? It says Dad on there. If I can get it to shine just right for you. No. It says Dad. Well, anyway, we have a screwdriver. We have a little hammer. We have the Dad. We have a... Oh, my God, I forgot what it's called. A little screw um, wrench. That's the word. So, yeah, we got... Hammer, screwdriver, and a wrench, and a dad. And I thought that was just really cute. As I said, he's a bit of a carpenter, a bit of a, a bit of a DIY man that does pretty much anything. So I thought that would be quite cute for him. Quite cute. So on to the next one. Next one, next one now. What am I going to choose for you? This gadget here. I will be collecting things for my car. Now this is a car gadget. Watch this. What do you think this is? Oh, look at this. See, this up here is rubber. <laughs> Watch this. I love this. Da -da. Extend, extend, extend. Look at the size of this. So basically, is when you're in the driver's side, you can pull this out and you can reach over to the wing mirror on the passenger seat and you can wipe the wing mirror down. Because <laughs> if you're like me and you're really small, it takes forever to lean over, get your cloth out, try and reach it. I just thought I would just, yeah. If you, you're you you're a lazy like me. <laughs> my body's is really cool. And my car gets so much dampness in there. No matter how much I dry it out, how much I wipe it down, it is just always wet. And I thought, well, this could be a little wiper blade for inside on the windscreen as well. And why not? But um, if you can think of any other ideas that you can use like, a little wiper blade for, you know, oh, yeah, put it in the comments because that would be quite handy to know. But I just thought that was such a cool gadget. Again, it was only not even, I think it was about a pound something. But yeah, you can just put it in your car ready to go on to the next one i bought a pack of these now these are fridge liners now i had a fridge liner that was sort of made of um oh it was like um, it was supposed to be like waterproof it's like it's a bit like a mat that you would put on a bed um, if you were incontinent or if you were changing a nappy. So I remember laying my daughter on one when I had her in the hospital. So it was like an absorbent mat, shall we say. But unfortunately, when they got a little bit too wet um, in my fridge, because uh, some meat leaked on it, it literally just stuck to the glass. So it was a bit of a pain in the backside to actually clean off properly. Um, so I thought I might as well just get myself some plastic fridge liners and um, to see how I get on with them. So I'll take them out of the packet and I'll show you them. I shall take... So inside there is one, two, three, four. They're all different colours. So they are a plastic sheet like this. They're embossed in one side. So you've got the grip and on the other side is just plain where you'd put this side down onto the fridge uh, in your shell on your shelving. So this is wipeable and it's clean. It'll keep your, your glass shelving clean. So we've got the see-through white one, see-through. We have a green one. We have kind of a little pinkish one pinky salmon colour and we have like a blue green one so they make your fridge look pretty so hopefully when I do my fridge clean again I will be able to put these in and actually try and keep my 
the kitchen, my fridge cleaner for longer. So yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to trying those out so I can show you what's in there. I have something here for the girls and the guys out there who are a little bit chunky on the old thigh side like I am. Now, the one thing that we hate the most, we have to admit it, we hate the most is in the summertime when we get the dreaded thigh rub. I know, I know. It is awful and there's nothing we can do about it. Talcum powder just makes a paste. It is no good. So I found these on Timu. There's quite a few in the packet. I shall take one out. I shall not be just demonstrating this on my body. I just want you to use your imagination. Just think, you get the chub rub. This is what you could have. And I'm looking forward to using these in the summer because we're going away to Florida and it's going to be as humid as anything. So I keep hearing. So um, these might come in handy. So wish me luck. They're quite thin. I'm guessing this bit in here. Oh, you lose us like an egg, look. So you'd peel it off. Which ones is it? That's the sticky side. Oh, hang on. Sticky? It's not sticky. Why is it not sticky? Hmm. I'm guessing that and that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to experiment. It's 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 sticky, but it's not. You can put it back down again. So I'm gonna investigate and I'll try it on and then I try on. I will put them together and then I will let you know in a in a little clip how I get on with it. And then I'll let you know whether I recommend them or not and tell you if they work, if what they look like, if they'll be okay with a nice pair of shorts, because obviously in the summer we like to wear shorts. And if you're a girly girl, like I used to be kind of a little bit, uh, like to wear a skirt. And I haven't worn a skirt for donkey's years because I just can't rub my thighs. I just... <laughs> anyway, I shall let you know how I get on. Now on to the next one. Again, I have something here for holiday. And I wanted these um, and I didn't know what they were called or anything. So I'm mainly aiming at the ladies here because this is described for bras. But I shall be using it for whatever. So if you can come up with some other ideas for them perfect Ch chuck it in me comments because i need to know these things here right see if you can guess what they're for little plasticky clip well, i'm going to take them out take them out Ooh. little butterfly clip things now these are used to keep your bra together when you're wearing like a vest top or a racer halter neck, halter, race halter top, whatever they're called, a racer top. And I think that's going to be a banging idea because I hate getting tan lines here when my halter, what are they called? Yeah, racer top when they're at the, t you know, you've got your, your blade, your shoulder blades. Again, I'll, put, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it on. Because I've still, I think I can still get access to my uh, vest tops because it's not quite summertime yet. But yes, put your bra together. I'm looking forward to this. I don't know how comfortable they'll be. They're quite flexible. But it's worth a try. It is worth a try. At Pence, delivered to my door. There is three in total. I just... um. I'm going to try it on later. I need to know whether they actually work. I need to know. Because it's nearly summer. I know it's February, but it's nearly summer. Next thing. I have a bag of hands. Can you guess what the bag of hands are for? Right. There's actually quite a few in the box, actually. In the box, in the packet. It's these little guys here. And these are for holding cables. So you'd pop that up against your bedside table. You've got your phone. You want to charge your phone, you put your cable in there. I'll do a little video to demonstrate how I'm going to do it. And thumbs up. They're so cute. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find a way of showing you it. 
Look, that's cute. It's a little cutie. Oh, what have we got here? We have... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going again. So, just looking inside in the bag, we have 10... Nice one, Louise. 10 of these. Two green, two white, two orange, two blue and two yellow. So any colour, I'm going to be using the white ones because I've got white units and I want them to be aesthetically pleasing. But you can use it for anything that you like, any colour that you like. But yeah, 10 in the pack. I like it a lot. So. On to the next one. Now. I've got something else for the car. I was going to do a car haul. I might do a car haul still because I'm still finding proper little gadgets and gizmos. See if you can guess what these are. Can you guess by the shape? Can you guess what it is yet? Now these, again, I'm the lazy one. These actually stick around the top of your wing mirrors. To stop them from getting wet <laughs> i know um so i'm hoping that they fit my little car i shall um i shall go out and stick them on because this is a little bit peels off here and you stick them onto the inside put it through where the little spiders live and um yeah hopefully when it rains it will stay off the wing mirror but again i will um let you know how I get on with that, see if it actually fits, see if it's like a, un a universal fit for all cars or if you have to have big wing mirrors, I've got quite little ones, so we shall see. Let me just put this back in the bucket. <laughs> so in my last video that I did of my random stuff, I managed to duplicate my order. Um, this time I checked my order um, and I duplicated again. Um, and I wore my glasses. Um, so I think when I order stuff and I no, when I actually buy it, it's normally in the evening. So I think I'm just not paying much attention to what I'm doing. So I try not to do it again. Uh, and this I'm glad it was pence and not pounds. I got one of these. Now, let me open it. Let me open it. It is to put in your beauty blender, your beauty blender sponge. Now I've just started doing makeup again and I thought this was actually a pretty good idea for when you wash them, you can put them in here and put them in the window and then they still get an air vent there. I know, I'm trying to come up with other ideas um, to help with the drying process, especially when you live in a flat like I do, you can't simply go and put it out in the garden and hope the birds don't run off with it. But uh, yeah, for Beauty Blender, so again, I've got two of those. If you can think of something else, let's little, put some little Easter eggs in there. <laughs> okay, no, let's not. Um, but yeah, that's basically for the Beauty Blender. I'll show you mine once I have made the video for you. Next thing I have is in here. I don't know what it is because I can't see it. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> it is, let me open. Can I open? <clears throat> right, it is tiny. You see it's got little metal forks on there. Little on here this is to use on your hairbrush it helps get inside pull it out and it will help take all the hair out i shall show you on my hairbrush because it definitely needs doing they all need a clean but i thought well instead of using whatever i can find to try and dig it out and people a lot of people use scissors i thought i'd just find this little gadget and hopefully this will work really good so I will let you know how I get on with that and to let you know whether I recommend it or not. So let's get to the next one. Right, so the next one is this little gadget here. And as I said, I'm doing, trying to learn how to do makeup. And this one 
is an, an eyeliner aid. <clears throat> because I'm not very good at doing eyeliner. I just look like that I've been punched in the face by a big black scoopy thing, eyeliner pencil. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get it out of the packet. I am quite a sad case when it comes to makeup. I let my side down quite a lot. So this here. So the idea from what I've seen is that you put it up here and then you've got the line. You've got the line to do your wing. Um, and also, yeah, and if you do it underneath, yeah, you can get inside your waterline. Just read it off the packet. Yeah, it's it's a multi multi use tool, and it opens down here. You can get your where you put your blusher uh, or your contouring. I've got no clue, but yeah, no, I know he's got a little, little scoop there, whatever that's for. But I shall be. Oh, yeah, no, eyeliner and mascara helper, lipstick assistant, face cream adapter, scoop and spread Ooh. so yeah this has probably been out for many many years and i could have done with this when i was a teenager right <laughs> on to the next one this one i was a little bit disappointed with because i thought it was going to be something like this it, you know an actual item which this is rubber but i thought this was going to be sort of plastic or whatever and it's not it's sticker this is also something like this but it's in the shape of a cat because it's got all the different things that you can use the tail for there you go it says cat line and it's got quite a few different things on there so it's got stickers all over it and so it can help you do the uh eyeliner and it's got see that bits on the back here look that she shows you a few that you can do with it and i thought oh wicked i'll have that and then i can have a bit of a practice but it's, if this is it, oh, it is, it just moved. It's like a little stem I'm going to take it out because it's really annoying me now. <laughs> but it looks, oh, there's two of them. Yeah, look, it's a little flimsy, little flimsy thing. Uh, la, 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 whatever, moustache, beard, I don't know. I don't know because they, oh they've got the lines inside but I don't know so that again is something for me to um have a bit of a create with I hope I don't get really cross with it because I, I'm no good at makeup so the other thing that I purchased is inside this little white bag <coughs> sorry if I keep clearing my throat but I have to keep stopping for a cough this little gizmo here is an eyelash, false eyelash picker upper and putter on her. I don't know the technical term for it, but that's what I'm calling it. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea because I'm trying, I want to do eyelashes still, I haven't done it yet. And I picked these up from the Timu Hall and I thought, I'll give them a try. I've got me picker up and pick them up and place them on the eyebrow. Eyebrow. I hope I don't put them on my eyebrows. <laughs> pick them up, put them on the, my eyelash. But I thought that was really good. So for anyone who enjoys doing lashes, but is still a bit of a novice like me, maybe <laughs> once I've given it a try, I can let you know how I get on. But if you already use one of these, oh, feel free to give me a comment and let me know whether you actually find it helpful or is it a hindrance more than anything else? Again, this was pence. I have to try these things. I'm old. I need to know how to do makeup. Another makeup item I picked up. I don't actually know what this is because the things that I did for my eyebrows for the last one was a completely wrong colour. So I thought, oh no, I don't want that. <clears throat> I don't actually know what it is. It's covered in Chinese writing and it's got something underneath. Um... Bear with me. Right. Drawing eyebrow. Oh. 
Oh, what's that? Oh, it feels quite um, like a pen. Oh, now literally, look, you can draw eyebrows, draw your eyebrows. But again, I think that's probably too light for me, but a bit of practice. It's not scratching or anything. Sorry. So there's quite, quite a bit in there. Just don't have it too big or just snap it off. Oh, so that's the drawn eyebrows. I've got another one here. What's that say? Brush. Oh, it's one of them. So you brush your eyebrows and draw them in. I can fill them in. Oh, fingers crossed for me. Again, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, but at least I'm trying and making the effort. Next thing I purchased was a smooth gel eyeliner. Let me open it for you. Right. Oh, that's quite a nice packaging. It says Celine Girl. What is it? Oh, lipstick. Oh my God, look. <laughs> A small... Do you think I could use that? Do you think this is going to be better than the liquid one that I bought? I tried the liquid one. Again, I just looked like a little toddler just drawn, drawn on my face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. Hardly any pressure. My drawing is atrocious. Oh, I'm not going to do it on here, but ah, I will try. That is a really nice packaging, look. Good shape. Now pretty. What's it pretty? Now this one, I was a pure magpie with this one. I was drawn to this. And apparently this was going viral, I think, on on, on, on the top. Um, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same one. This is Starry, Starry Sky Thick and Long Mascara. And I just like the packaging. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. It's not as beautiful as it makes out. Uh, but you can see on camera how pretty it really is. Look, it's just so glittery. It's so pretty. It's so shiny. Oh, it's one of them. It's a very ooh, dribble up. And it's very thin. Thin one it's got no no hardly any brush on it that's not a brush should we say with the bristles it's uh, plastic yeah it's like a plastic so that'd be good and interesting to use because I've never tried like a proper plastic thin one before so don't must be one small in it but yeah it's quite pretty so if anybody likes the rainbow theme or the glitter that is really nice for the collection I've got another in a bag. Yeah. Whew, does not smell great. Um, another wash bag. If you saw, <laughs> you saw my my uh, travel essential one. I have a lot of bags. I didn't realise how many bags I had until it was pointed out to, um, to me that. Um, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a lot of bags, but hopefully I will put them all into use. This one's quite large. I say quite large, but if we need them large, we want to put all of our toiletries in, don't we? So it's not a bad size. At least you can see what's in it, whether it's your makeup, whether it's your shampoos and your shower gels. It's even got a hanger. So when you go on holiday, you can hang it up in the bathroom. Easy access, or you can have it closed. It's easy to put in the suitcase. I oh, like that. I didn't realise it had the hanger. So yeah, that was pretty. That was a pretty good price. Um, again, somewhere on the screen. I have one more item for you. Now this one, I thought, would look nice away from the normal date of what it looks like so in here I shall open oh, we 
have a grey and white tissue box with storage. So I thought this was a great idea. So I can put my tissues in there. I can put my pens and that in there, which I have next to me on it by the sofa because I'm always doing my social media stuff. So I always need a pen. Uh, at the moment, I always need a tissue. So why not? And I thought this was a lovely idea. Put it in there. It's quite aesthetically nice. And it's much better than a regular tissue box. So yeah, I shall set that up on my table or it might go on my desk. Depends. And if I like it that much, I might get another one. So they're fairly big. Quite a nice size. Nice little organisation. You could put anything in here really, couldn't you? But yeah, as I said, I'm going to put my pens in there. That's obviously all the way down. Put your mascara in it. And your other bits in it. Or maybe your car equipment. <laughs> Whatever you fancy, really. So, yeah. That is me for this one. So, if you like any of these, you can um, obviously look it up on the app. But I will promise hopefully i have delivered and shown you all the prices and how i've used these um again this is my random stuff how what i think might be useful for myself but if you've liked any of this then obviously you know feel free to go over the app and uh, purchase yourself and let me know what you think because um i'm gonna keep having these random stuffs is gonna keep coming i'm gonna have another haul ready for march um, it is going to be my daughter's birthday. Um, I have ordered other bits for this one, but that were for my daughter and a couple of other bits were for my mum. So my next one, I shall be picking up birthday bits. There's a few birthday um, decorations and there's some really cool balloons and stands and stuff in there that I really want to pick up for my daughter. Um, and I know she's watching this, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, please come back for my other ones and I shall see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.